Brokaz, your digital lifestyle expert here, and we're going to talk about how to upgrade the RAM in your MacBook. You may have gotten it with uh, not as much RAM as you wanted to, you saved up to make sure it happened, or RAM just got faster than the programs, or RAM got slower than the programs that you need to run on it. And anyway, you want to make sure that your computer's got the clocks, and they make it very easy and straightforward to upgrade it with the Mac products. First thing you want to do is to shut your computer down. And when I say shut it down, I mean shut it down. Go through your normal shutdown procedure. Don't put it to sleep. Don't hibernate it. Don't just simply close the lid. We're doing a, uh, a major upgrade, or a major major upgrade as far as the computer is concerned and it doesn't like to start up uh, you know it doesn't like to have that taken away from it um, in the middle of a process so make sure you shut it down the proper way close it up and then we're going to flip it over to the back here now uh, as we look at the back here this is our battery port this is where you can check to see how much battery you have left here looks to be fully charged all right this one's going to you want to get yourself a dime or some other flat item and we're going to insert it right in here and you're going to see that they made it pretty easy there's a lock and an unlock so we're just going to simply insert our dime twist it to unlock and you can see that the battery pack has popped right out or popped open so we can pop it out Boop. and now we've got the inside now, this is a user-serviceable user part, um, and you can tell that they want you to do this, A, because they made it easy to access, and there's a diagram right here on the procedure that we're going to discuss. You also want to get yourself a good precision screwdriver, the right tool for the right job. That's what your father always said, and he was right. There are three screws that we're going to take out, and this is a teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny little thing. Our screws are located here, here, and here. Now, for the sake of time, I'm not actually going to take them out here. We're going to pull them out, and all this is is a little retention bar, and inside of it, you're going to see right in here your two, uh, your two RAM chips. There's a lever right at the top. You pop it out, and they come right into your hands. All right? From there, you just simply remove it, insert the new drive, one, two, three screws, and they are a little tedious. You also want to make sure that your driver can get in at an angle or is small enough to get into here. All you do is, again, pull the lever, push the new ones in really tight, put your retaining bar back in place, and then we simply repeat the pro reverse the process, rather. In, lock, push, and twist. Locked up safe, turn it over, and turn it on. And now, you've got a faster MacBook. Isn't it awesome? Like me, Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert. Stream you later.